Hey, folks, uh, look, you know my next guest as one of the early co-hosts of The View and as a correspondent for both The Oprah Winfrey Show and CNN. Well, now she's hosting the second season of CNN's This Is Life with Lisa Lean. Please welcome Lisa Lean. <laughs> Well, Lisa, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me on. I'm such a fan. Yeah, but I'm a fan of yours, too, because the work you do is really, really meaningful to me. Speaking of, the show is doing really well, isn't it? It is doing well. We're so grateful. And uh, to me, it's an example of the fact that people are interested in entertaining but substantive storytelling on television. Tell us a little bit about the show. This Is Life is an eight-part documentary series that explores different American subcultures. And I like to think that we provide an opportunity for people to get to know people who may live very far away from them, people who may live right next door to them, people who may be in their own family, whom they may have judged throughout their lives or had an opinion about, but just not really known too much about. Um, I've always believed that the more we know about each other, the better we are as human beings. So this is an opportunity for people to just get to know other people better. Tell us about this episode that's gonna air tomorrow. Yeah, so this episode that's airing tomorrow is called Fatherless Towns, and it is an incredibly special episode to me. There are so many households throughout America that are missing fathers, and this predicament is particularly evident in African-American families. Mm -hmm. So many communities are missing their men, and many of them are locked up behind bars. Mm -hmm. And the intention of our episode, Fatherless Towns, is to um, visit this, this community in Richmond, Virginia, uh, that has this incredible fatherhood program inside its jail that culminates in this incredible father-daughter dance that actually happens inside the jail. And right. the objective in Richmond is to try and connect fathers back with their families. And it is one of the most uh, powerful experiences I've ever had in my life. Well, uh, let's take a look at this clip. This is a really good thing, folks. Take a look. How many of you are really nervous about the dance? Can I put two hands up? <laughs> what are you most nervous about? I can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> I never danced with my daughter before. It will be the first time she ever seen her dad in a suit. Are you emotional about it? <laughs> Yeah, you can say that, yeah. I was locked up when my child was born, and um, I was barely there, and she's four years old now. So you don't really even know your daughter that well? No, no, ma'am. Really, I don't know nothing about her, for real. I believe that building a healthy relationship with my children is important, whereas as before, I really didn't think about it. This dance is an opportunity for me to get to know my daughter for who she is and the chance to build a relationship and a bond that we didn't have in the beginning. Lisa, what was some of your first impressions upon meeting these men in prison and in person? Well, when I walked into that room, Steve, I witnessed a group of men who were so serious. They took what they were doing so seriously. They desperately want to be part of their children's lives but they've never known how to be a father because most of them didn't right. grow up with fathers in their own right. lives. And so for me, it was so moving to see how much these men, how hard they're working to become productive members of society and productive fathers in their families. Absolutely. This is only a small portion of it, folks, but take a look at what happened on the day of the dance. And up on the sixth floor, the men are getting ready. Aziz. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Yes, sir. The suits were loaned by local charities. This is the first time most of these men have ever worn one. <laughs> Dance. Oh. Smile. Ha <laughs> ha! 
this first father and daughter dance. Well, I want you all to make sure that you watch this entire thing because it is an incredible story. Please have Kleenex, though. Oh, man, I'm, because I cried. Yeah. Because, man, I, I could just feel them guys, man. I know what it's like to make a mistake, man, to just make a mistake. And, and it costs so many people because of that mistake. Well, one of the fathers is out of jail, and he's here with his family today. And we're going to see how things are going.